Welcome to the weekly market update by SoftLogic Stock Brokers. The market saw a marginal decline with the ASI dropping by 55 points week on week to close at 9,632 points while the more liquid S&P fell by 66 points. Total weekly turnover stood at 14 billion rupees with local investor interest centered on the banking, transportation and material sector counters. Foreigners were net sellers recording an outflow of 123 million rupees. On the macro front, the market was rife with speculation at the beginning of the week on a hike in policy rates. However, after the convening of the Monetary Board on the 13th of October, the Central Bank of Sri Lanka decided to maintain the standing deposit facility rate and the standing lending facility rates at 5% and 6% respectively. Even though policy rates remained unchanged, it is important to note that Treasury bill yields rose by 89 bips to 8.04% at Wednesday's auction. Growth forecasts by the IMF were revised from 5% to 4%, prompting the CBSL to disagree with them and other multilateral agencies' growth forecasts. They maintain that the GDP will grow by 5% for 2021. There were multiple price hikes during the week, with the prices of wheat flour, bread, bakery products, milk powder and cement being revised. The resulting inflationary pressure is bound to be significant and has hurt a lot of consumers. The IFC recently issued Sri Lanka's first rupee-denominated bond, aptly named the Serendip bond. The IFC claims that the newly introduced Serendip bonds will pave way for a new wave of local currency offshore funding for corporates. Private sector credit spiked in August by 15% to $134 billion, enhancing the first eight months figure to $625 billion. This is significant compared to 2020, where borrowing was only $374 billion. Worker remittances continue to decline further in September, with the cumulative income for the year down by 10% to $4.57 billion. US dollars. These were the crossings and dividend announcements observed during the past week. Some more relevant and important news. Thank you for joining us. Hope to see you again next weekend.